Cool. Yeah. You guys work on, other than my truck, you guys work on anything else cool? Um, I don't know. I saw we got a new Razor, but I don't know what's happening with that. <laughs> yeah, we got a little bit to do on that. Uh, you guys know that a lot of There's a company that uh, we work with, yeah. uh, Poppy, yeah. and they make some, and they load it with kicker, kicker gear. It's pretty cool. I saw something somewhere on a Polaris Razor overhead. Yeah, yeah we've got um, our entire conference room a year ago, a little over a year ago, we took over and set up as a studio, because they do a weekly show on Tuesday nights, and we have one of those um, overhead units in there display they're really impressive too yeah. I mean yeah. what they are they're they're a good amount of money like 3500 and up but you get you get a roof you get lights front and rear yeah. um, of course all the stereo and it's one main wire that comes down power and ground hook it to the battery you're done everything's done yeah. yes so it must we'll have, have, a, it must have the, 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 the uh, relay units and everything it's all wired in mm. all That's pretty cool. at the top yep cool We'll give you a little bit of a tour. Yeah. Sure. You haven't been here before, have you? I have, but it's been a couple years. Oh, yeah. It's probably, okay. It was three years ago or whatever. Oh, okay. But hey, our YouTube okay. channel has not been here. No. Oh, so, there's that. Yeah. What's up, man? How are you? Show it off to him. Show it off to him. You did a 6x9s in your doors. Oh, yeah. And, uh, uh, the Midler kit up in the dash, yeah. so it, dude, it, it pounds for just. Sounds pretty good. Yeah, for just you I know four speakers. That. That's inside. awesome. Yeah, I knew you guys were gonna do subs. I didn't realize you guys were gonna do everything. That's really cool. Yeah, it, uh, dude, it, it's really impressive for just a little single cab right. shop truck setup. Yeah, you know? that's exactly what it is. Yeah, it's just my get around truck. Yeah. This looks like my mom's van over here. Oh man, this is an OG kicker right here. Is they, it really? They bought this brand new, and it's literally just been devoted to being a test mule nowadays. My mom literally has that same exact van. That's, that's awesome. awesome. It's hilarious. Oh, that's about as far as it goes, I guess. Okay. Well, here, I'll try to shed some light on it. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's cool. So what are those? Those are the L7s, which are tens, right? Those yeah, are L7 R2s. Yeah. Yeah, thin ones. Cool. You can mount those in just about anything. Yeah. We only have three and three quarter mounting depth, so cool. Worked perfect for your application. It was great. Yeah. Crazy turbos or anything? Or? You know, okay, here's the deal. I bought this because my dually always seems to be hooked up to the race car trailer. And you know, I got my little road truck that we play around with, with all the daily driver stuff, but that thing's gotten out of control. That 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 truck makes 1,200 horsepower, now it's a race car. Yeah. And so I wanted something to get around, like just a daily driver commuter that I could pick up motors from the machine shop, transmissions, haul stuff places, whatever. Yeah. So I started just like, I wasn't in a hurry, I was just browsing Facebook. And I found, I stumbled upon this on Facebook Marketplace. Well, it was in Texas. The dude was like, I just want payoff. Well, it didn't look like it does now, but uh, it was lower just a little bit and it had stock wheels and brand new tires and it was 100% bone stock. And I was like, man, that's a pretty nice little truck. And it was like four or $5,000 cheaper than all the rest of them. Yeah. So I told the kid, hey, if you'll bring it down to me, because Jerry's was somewhere, Javi had the weekend off or whatever. So I told the kid, hey, if you'll bring it down to me, I'll buy it. So him and his girlfriend jumped in the truck and, and came down to my shop. And it was just as clean as they said it was. And I gave him payoff and it was like, I don't remember whatever the payoff number was that he thought it was by the time he got it down there and we called his bank, it was like $300 less. He's like, I told you payoff. So I don't know, man, I feel like I got it. I feel like we stole it. So that being said, I got it just to drive it, but I wanted, I wanted some nice wheels on it. Yeah. And then I've got takeoff stuff for my red truck. Oh, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, of course. Laying around. So I've got exhaust system laying around for it, yeah. and I got a small little blower for it. I don't know if I'm going to Dude, when not. we started up, I was like, oh, this is cool. Yeah, like, this what is, is going on. Yeah, it's 100% bone stock. Yeah. Yeah, and so and it drives perfect. So driving on the road, you know, you, you take it on a trip or whatever, and I don't have to listen to the exhaust, I don't do anything. So well, we ever it's worry the, about it? It's the only thing I have that's bone that's 100% bone <laughs> stock. And I don't know if it'll, yeah. let, if it'll last for very long, but right now, 
That's, Man, that's how I like it. With this being like the last generation of the short wide, I know. Might be worth keeping it. I know, it. It's I know for sure. Because as soon as they hit what, 2018, I think, they do not make them anymore. Yeah, that, like that newest generation, yeah. they don't do them anymore. So now everything that you see is if somebody, if they're, because I saw a couple in SEMA, but you know, somebody made yeah. them. You know? yeah, probably the ones Fat Fabs did. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Yep. Yeah. You, you guys have time to do it to work? Yeah, for sure. Okay. I think it'd be cool. I think plus I think people would like to see it. Yeah. yeah. So when people like me bring stuff, it's really nice. Yeah. yeah. We're right here for a while. Yeah. I remember sitting in that thing. If I remember right, that little car right there is super loud. Yes. Oh, they put a quad box in it. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Just a little quad. Nothing crazy. No, Nothing over the that ground. thing probably shakes the car off the ground. We're just afraid of destroying it at this point. So. Yeah, right. Is that ridiculously loud? Dang. It's cool though. It looks cool. I like it. Yeah, especially like if we're on grass. I can see Hobby driving something like this every day. Yeah. I kind of feel like it fits you. Is that your new push car? Is that your new push car? Hey, that would. It would be a good push car. Right, Hey, this thing is like the same wheelbase as that golf cart. That's why they make perfect push cars. Yeah. Golf cart looks like it's on airbags. I really want him to lift it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big deal. Yeah. I need to put something on my. Uh, I need to put something on my radio. I don't care if it's too. We have power bars. Yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa! I didn't expect that. <laughs> Sorry. Got a couple of 15 minutes. Oh my god. So, what made you guys? So, why were you like, yeah, Dodge 2500? That's what we're gonna do with. <laughs> yeah, I'll show them this. This is wild. So, uh, how many 15s are in this? Oh, uh, it's actually six twelves. Oh, six twelve. So no fifteens yeah. is the answer. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. it's all we could fit. We can only yeah. fit twelves, unfortunately. Six twelves. And man, it's it's one of those things where everybody has crew cab trucks. Yeah, they do. The jacket itself is 30 years old. Yeah. Here's yeah, snack 20, room. 2023 is our 50th anniversary. 50 years. Isn't that wild? This is just maintenance storage. Yeah. So this is um, shipping whenever they package up everything. Yeah. They bring it over here and then the trucks pull in. You saw the docks. Sure. And it's all out there. This is all the stuff right before it hits the trucks and rolls out. No, over here. Yeah. This is all like warranty. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, look at all them boards. Yeah. So Bill, all this stuff will come this in. This whole area has just been full of pallets. Really? Yeah. Test all this stuff individually, and if stuff ends up testing out just fine, or if they can fix it, yeah. then we'll box it back up. Like stuff sure. And sell it that way. Sure. For a cheaper price or whatever. Yeah. Are you guys busy because of holiday, like shipping for holiday 
like because it's the holiday time of year, is, do you guys, is there a, is it like everything else? So during the holidays, month, you guys get real busy? Surge, yeah. End of the yeah. month. End of the month. We run promos run, coming up in Christmas as well. Right. So this is our main, um, the main storage for the shipping. This is the shipping department back here. This is all of the most popular products. Right. And you guys sell to... Yeah, okay. we've got. How are you, brother? Doing okay? Oh, yeah. Good. We've got um, about a little over 400 brick and mortar dealers. Oh, wow. Across the country, distributors around the world. Yeah. Is this been like, oh, because you know, you hear, of course, you know, COVID came through and messed up business and stuff on the same note a lot of times. Now you talk to businesses and it's like they figured out how to overcome it and produce more. Do you guys in that same category or um, did it affect you guys the other way? Kind of planned for when everything started. Um, we've done really well. You know, just yeah. like anything we're waiting on. 125 Product to come in. Is that, is that going the right way yet? Like, are you getting anything yet? We have been, just trickles. So I'm not sure how many we still have yeah. out there. That's what I'm saying. So this is um, rebuild. They they do the tailgates. The, oh yeah. Um, those For, are all handmade here. Here. Yeah, because it's like a factory option or something, mm -hmm. right? It is. That's the only That's way you can cool. get it. Can I pick that up? I think so. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. So but it's like yeah. integrated in the tailgate, huh? Mm -hmm. But those are all handmade here. Awesome. We had a little Thanksgiving lunch. If you guys want to snag a dessert oh, on the way by. <laughs> there you go, Bob. You can snag a dessert on the way by. Hey. More vintage. 25th anniversary. 20th anniversary. This is where the new little museum space will be. What's up? <laughs> How are you, buddy? Are you doing good? You doing okay? Doing well. Good. Did fly your tire? Uh, well, I, yeah, they, they told me. It was aired up. He said, "Hey, by the way, you got a flat tire." So anyway, we'll figure out when we get back. Yeah, that's all good. Yeah. She said you guys have been really busy. Very busy. Yeah, it's good. It's what you want. Like you. We have been. Yeah. Really busy. Yeah, yeah. We're here for. I was trying to figure out when we could squeeze this in, and we were supposed to go out of town to go start filming America's Lists last this last Monday right. and they moved it to the next Monday and they moved it to now the Monday after Thanksgiving so I said we better go get that or they're gonna have that to watch the first of the year we'll start charging plus I need plus I need to drive it so yeah. I'm like where's my black oh it's been a there for a month now yeah oh, I appreciate you. I appreciate you guys yeah. Yeah. thank you very much you too yeah it sounds great too good yeah, yeah. for sure it's not been out well that yep. came down. yeah me too it's been, we're a while. To it's been a museum while. Museum now. We did, yeah, we did kind of like a tour like this. That's but it's been a couple of years ago. I think. Yeah. And I don't think we've, I don't, we've put it on YouTube now. So okay. Let everybody check it out. Okay. Good to see you. Okay. Good to see you. Everybody. Good to see you. Yep. Stay in touch. All right. Yeah. Quick trip. Show off some good stuff for your YouTubers. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. That's wild. Yeah. Just that one. Oh, look at this. This has a this has a dual overhead cam Cobra motor. Holy spit. Yeah. In the middle. The, yeah, and the driver's seat's in the middle, too. Whoa, that's crazy. <laughs> that thing might or might not be in here because the motor's broken. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's still over the jack over. Oh, wow. This is this this kicker. Okay. Kicker built this. Uh, I like that. That's, I like the color. Y'all yeah. had this at SEMA, didn't you?
like that. They're they already call the cops on me. They, hey, they do. Listen, those stairs stuff you'll head towards the shop. Yeah. They will. I guess there's a neighbor behind us somewhere, oh. but randomly the cops will pull up, and I'm like, "What do we do now?" And they and they call on us for the stereo <laughs> noise complaint. It's a noise complaint. So you know, if we're getting noise we're complaints, y'all are doing it right. <laughs> so we are here in Stillwater at Stillwater Design Kicker in Oklahoma, um, and uh, they've got. I have a little 2015 short wide that I drive every day. And it was just stock, didn't have anything done to it as far as the sound system goes. So we brought it up here before, I don't know, maybe two no prep kings ago. Uh, before we went out of town, we dropped it off up here and had them just kind of go through it. And I just wanted it to be a little better than it was. And they went above and beyond. So they put two L710s in it and a couple of six by nines. And, and it just sounds way better than it did before. Sorry, the sun is totally in my eyes. No, you're <laughs> fine. Uh, it really. sounds way better than it did before. So we're here today just kind of taking a tour of the place and just showing everybody, all everybody on YouTube, um, just kind of what their place is about, what they do. And if you guys are in Oklahoma, this is a pretty cool place to check out. They got some really cool stuff here in the showroom. Yeah. What do they call this, the Wall of Boom? Yes. The Wall of Boom. It's pretty cool to check out too, so. is what you were talking so about. So this goes, you know, this is right over the driveway. Yeah. Room, and then this goes over your back. That's kind of cool. Back they have a couple different sizes, if I remember right. They so have that's who one. makes it, and they fill it with all you guys' stuff. Uh -huh. I get it. Yep. I get it. That's pretty cool for side-by-side -side stuff. Though. Yeah. And I bet that's like really you loud above your head. Just, this is the only, yeah. it just plugs directly into your, your power oh, source. Yeah. Pretty neat. Yeah. Yes. What are we talking? Oh, we're talking with Corey Hemmel. What it takes right. to do sound quality competition. Sound quality competitions. Yeah. And then next week is next showing week. off some actually, stuff, aren't you? Well, actually, you may be interested in this, Ryan. We're going to have excess power on. Oh, that's cool. They're going to talk yeah. a lot about what batteries to use in an audio system. Yeah. Or, or, I mean, I believe yeah. I mean, there are a bunch of people. Yes, racing they, with absolutely. Access. They're they're uh, heavily involved in the racing industry. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. This is the power bar that we have. Oh yeah. For Bluetooth. power sports power bar, yes. Yeah, so you just hang that from something, and mm -hmm. that's pretty cool. There is a larger one, a 34 inch, I yeah. believe, but we do not have it in stock yet. This is 21 inch. Cool. This so. is 150 watt self powered. The other one's 300 watt self powered. Oh wow! It does not need a radio, and you can get square can clamps for it for uh, a golf yeah. cart. Perfect golf cart or a side by side or yep. whatever. Yeah. Yep. So if you're thinking about something for your razor, there's we yeah. have all kinds of different options. That's cool. We'll talk about that because yeah. I'd like to get something. Sounds good. Yeah. Okay. Cool. This is the same uh, thing that was in the Fiat. That's what I figured. Yeah. So it's like a pretty common box that you guys make for a few different things. Um, and you said why not put them in a Fiat? Right. Why not? We had it in here. We had the Fiat in here, and yeah. oh, sure, thank they, you. Right. Uh, or it's just a I, bet, I bet most people have no clue how big you guys are. Like how big? I had no clue how big the facility is until the very first time I came here. Right. But even when I come back, like this is the second time I've been here, and I forget until I'm walking around this place. I'm giant. It's I want to say it's about four hundred thousand square feet. Oh, oh, she loved this. Right, who's got the loudest stereo at the at the track? Would you say? Well, it's, it's guaranteed anybody with kicker stuff. And if I'm going to answer that question correctly, it's always I'm, I'm going to let Javi answer because I know he's going to say, Javi, who always plays the music loudest at the racetrack? And nobody's going to guess who this is because you there's people oh. who you think it would be. Who, Papa. It's it's Jeff, Jeff Lutz. Lutz. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Papa, Papa <laughs> Jeff Lutz is the always the one that's got you his shit cranked up the loudest. You would think it'd be Sean, but Sean, you would think yeah. it'd be Sean, but Sean was like, I went simple, man. Sean's the one that calls him, him and Dave call him in the middle of like, tell him, turn sleep, tell him to turn his radio down. <laughs> so it's totally opposite of what you, what everybody thinks. Yeah. And I, and I get it too, because you'll be down, like, you'll race all day long and you'll be out in the sun and you just want to go to sleep. 
and Jeff's outside cranking the music up. To hair metal. Yeah, yeah. Really. Like, there's no telling what it is. It's like hair metal, rap. Uh, I mean, I've heard everything you can think of on, on Jeff's playlist. That's awesome. Yeah, so of all the people, believe it or not, it's Jeff Lutz. <laughs> and that's not who you, that's not who I would guess that's if I didn't know any better. Yeah, I would, he wouldn't have been my first guess. It was a but. first or second MPK. And everybody was on a group text complaining about who it was that was playing their music so loud last night so nobody could sleep. And I was like, man, I wonder who it was. There's no, there's no telling. I'm surprised and it was Jeff, Jeff wasn't in there texting. Yeah. Yeah. He's the voice if you've ever heard the radio. Yeah. Oh, and it was funny. <laughs> yeah. So this afternoon I had Chase. I said, hey, I want to hear the truck. Yeah. Right. So we get in and we turn it on and swear to God, it's all 93.7 and your commercials on the <laughs> yeah. like, I tell Chase, I said, yeah. they actually play those. Yeah. <laughs> and I said, I, I told Chase, I said, hey, I said, that's it. He goes, huh? What? Well, he goes, there? Oh. <laughs> he goes, it is. What that sound? He goes, I thought that sound. Funny. <laughs> that's awesome. Well, it's great to meet you. Good. Hey, very good to meet you. All the best. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. I've been at your place a couple times. Usually when we come up here, I try to hit that. So. Well, I appreciate it. Thank, thank you very, very much. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, sir. Yeah, I'll see you guys at the shop. All right, we'll go down there in the end. I'll wait on you. Okay, see you guys.